Hello and welcome back to Jakey's Corner. Today I'll be showing you how I make my fried rice. I put my already washed rice in the pot and I strain my chicken stock into it. I've just finished boiling chicken that day so I just strained it directly into the cooking pot. I top it up with more water until it covers just the top of the rice. I put some curry powder according to how much I like. Then I added some thyme. I went on to add some ground chili powder. I stir everything together just so it's all combined. Then I cover it to cook. I leave it to cook for 20 minutes on the lowest heat. I let the steam cook it. After 20 minutes, when I checked it, it needed a little bit more water. So I added a bit more water and cooked it for a further 10 minutes. Then I set it aside to start the next stage. In a pan, I added about one tablespoon or one and a half tablespoon of oil. When that heated up a little bit, I added frozen vegetables. I did the vegetables straight from frozen because I want the moisture in there to go into the rice and cook, the, you know, cook a little bit longer in the rice. So I used about half a bag of that frozen vegetables. I had some leftover green peas. I added those as well, just so to use that bag up. Then I added about, I think I have four seasoning cubes here. I put that in here and then I put all the other seasoning, hot curry powder, thyme. I added salt also. Then I stirred everything together so every vegetable gets an even distribution of the seasoning. I continued to stir until I was sure the vegetables was fully coated in the seasoning. If you haven't yet liked this video, please do now. Thank you. I reduced the heat to medium and covered so it would cook for about 5 minutes. After 7 minutes of frying the vegetables, brought the rice back and started adding the vegetables bit by bit and stirring it in stages and bits until all the vegetables was fully, in, was fully incorporated into the rice. After I'd stirred in all the vegetables, I, mean, I added some water and salt because I noticed after tasting that it needed a little bit more salt. And covered the pot again and left it on very low heat and let it simmer for 10 minutes until I was sure the rice was ready. That final step can be repeated if, as many times as you want, but always only in 10 minutes just so you don't make the rice soggy. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please remember to like it and also leave me a comment down below. Is this how you cook your own fried rice? If not, what do you do different or what do you think you would take from this going forward? Thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.